years later, I become a multi-millionaire. And many people say, Aya, Eddie, you have vision. You are so smart. And some people say, Eddie, if only we believe you then. Ladies and gentlemen, if only it's the past. If only it's gone. Do not make that mistake. People make mistakes in Taiwan. It's okay. Taiwan has got only 20 million people. To make these same mistakes in India with 1 billion people is stupid. Yes. It is something you can afford. Some people say, Eddie, you are so lucky. Some people say, Eddie, why did you become successful? Let me tell you a story. There was an Indian chief, and he took a wife. You know these American Indians? She took a wife, and on wedding night, he was to go to war. So because he had to go to war, he told the wife, he says, wait, me come, must. She asked the new wife to wait for him. He went to war. Over a year later, he came back. The wife is pregnant. He was very angry. He said, Many moons, me no come. How come? Baby come. <laughs> The young wife held onto the stomach and says, Many moons, you not come, but many men come. <laughs> How come baby not come? <laughs> when I started in Forever Living in Taiwan, many people doubt me. They said, nah, I never heard of the company. Do it first. Fifteen years later, outstanding business of men of the year. I became very, very wealthy. And same people see me, and they says, Eddie, many moons me no come. How come forever money come? <laughs> I said, I just told them, I says, many moons you no come, but many men come. <laughs> Either a follower or a leader. 
We are looking for leaders. We want you to count yourself in and say, Eddie, I am one of the leaders. Step up and say, count me in. India is so big. We need thousands of leaders. Thousands. We need thousands of generals who is going to help us do battle on the, water front, on the battle front. And I hope you make your decision and say, yes, I'm one of them. I give you forever living. Thank you very much. I still have time, right? A little bit? Okay, I promise you just now, second part, I can be open a little bit if you have questions to ask or anything. Anybody would like to ask anything? Yes, please. The products. Well, uh, we did we did arrange any product demonstration. We got lots of products. You will have to spend a lot of time on the products, okay? But let me tell you maybe a little bit of at least one product, our most important selling products. Okay? Our most important selling product is our aloe vera gel. Can I have a bottle of aloe vera gel somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> nice color. This is the same color of my Ferrari. Yeah? Ferraris are mostly red, right? So when I ordered a Ferrari, I said, no, not red, not red. I want one in yellow. Same color. <laughs> Sometimes we just said that, but do you know how important that is? Do you know how important that is? If you want to do well in business, you must be a paranoid. Do not do things half and half. Do not just give for everything a try. Come on. No. I want you to be crazy. I want you to have the hollow mouth. I want you to talk to people all the time. You can't even control yourself. Anybody nearby, grab them. <laughs> yeah. Our logo is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I want you to be excited whenever you see a bird flying in the sky. It says, Jonathan! And people say, that's not Jonathan. That's a sparrow or that's a pigeon. Who cares? As far as we are concerned, anything that flies is Jonathan. <laughs> be a paranoid. From day one, I do for everything until today. My house, and I have many of them, every one of them will always have Jonathan in it. I make necklace, Jonathan. Even my belt, <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> After I made my belt, one day I used it and I was on stage. And I was giving this marketing plan. One girl pointed and says, look at that bird. <laughs> I panicked, I, I forgot to put on my shoes. Seagulls. Who cares? Who cares? And let me tell you about Jonathan. Many, many companies love to use eagles as their logos. Traditional or network marketing. They like to use eagles. Why? Why do eagles fly so high and why do eagles fly so fast? Eagles fly so high and so fast because they are born eagles. So that logo is very suitable for many companies. Jonathan was an ordinary seagull. An ordinary seagull. But because of desire, because of determination, because he was willing to pay the price, he practiced, 
he today can also fly very high and very fast like eagles. A tremendous logo for our company. Most companies are so difficult that only eagles can ever make money and survive. I've got good news for you. This is for Evelyn, for Evelyn products. Even ordinary seagulls can be successful. Many of us today are ordinary seagulls. We wake up in the morning and we go out and look for food. Fishermen throw junks into the sea and seagulls pick them up and eat them up. When you, look about, when you think about seagulls, you know, flying in the sea, you know, picking up garbage from the, from the seashore, eating a lot of things that is thrown on the, on the sand, dead fish in the water that the, 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 the fishermen has thrown into the sea after they have got their harvest. Is it not the same like what many of us are doing today? Every morning we wake up, we go to work, and we see what our boss throw for us to take home. And we just go home and feed our family. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you think about Jonathan and change yourself because you have an option because this is for ever living products. When I was in the restaurant, I'm sorry if I say something that may offend uh, 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 the, the, uh, some uh, uh, Hindu religion here. When I was in the when I was in the restaurant, I used to cook steak. I was in Canada. I used to cook steak for my customers. And a lot of times after eating the steak, they ask me, "Just Eddie, can you give me a doggy bag? I'd like to take this bone for my dog. My dog loves bones." I used to think the dog loved the bone better or the steak. I believe the dog liked the steak better than the bone, but the dog has no choice. The dog is a dog. We are not. We are not. You are not. You are a distributor of every products. We care for you. You are part of our family. And we are going to see you successful. No option. Let us get to work. So when you see any bird, don't forget. Jonathan, be a paranoid, be crazy. Let's go back to this bottle, aloe vera gel. Let's talk about health. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not difficult to be healthy. It is not difficult to be healthy. It is not difficult today to live a ripe, fruitful age of 75, 85, 90, 100. Unlike years before, where most of us die very young, by the time we are 55, 60, we are old. People in their 50s and 60s today are considered young. Even those in the 70s are still jumping around. Why the vast improvements over so many years? It's very simple, it's because we now begin to understand our body better. We are made of cells. We are made of cells. Everything, every part of us <coughs> is made of cells. Our head is made from an accumulation of cells. Our stomach our organs, our skin, our eyes, everything, <coughs> our cells. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, if you have healthy cells, you will be healthy. Do I be correct? Yes. If you have healthy cells, you will be healthy. Now, cells only require two things. Cells only require oxygen and nutrition. That's all. If you give cells 
the nutrition they need, and if you give them sufficient oxygen they need, and you keep them in a good environment that is non-toxic, cells can live forever. You'd be amazing. There was a professor who won a Nobel Prize. He kept chicken cells in petri dishes. Give them the best environment that he can, oxygen, nutrition, and no toxin. And those chicken cells live forever. And yet today, every one of us, millions and millions of our cells die every day. We age, we grow old, and I lose my hair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we can, if we can look up ourselves, we will be healthy. Let's talk about oxygen. How do you get oxygen? You get it by breathing. It's very simple. But you must remember you get enough oxygen only through deep breathing. Most of us breathe, but we just breathe so that we don't die, that's all. Very shallow breathing. <laughs> Now, that will not give you enough oxygen. We always tell people, you have to exercise. So let us try. How many of you exercise regularly on a weekly basis? <coughs> Same is Taiwan, less than 5%. Okay, less than 5%. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not exercise, sometimes you do not have enough oxygen. Never mind, you can sometimes improve the oxygen level in your body by whenever you have time, concentrate on your breathing pattern, okay? Try and, whenever you have time, try and breathe until it comes to your stomach. Deep breathing. Better still, if you can, breathe slowly in for six seconds, hold your breath for about 24, and breathe out slowly for 12. <coughs> now, of course, for me to ask you to breathe for six seconds, is just one, two, three, four, five, six, and four, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, 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 four. Now, that's too difficult, okay? <laughs> Let us make six into one unit. Unit one, 24 is four, and 12 is two. So count approximately, okay? Just slowly for one, okay? Hold your breath for four. Now, if four is too long, please don't continue. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay? So, easy. Breathe, hold your breath. And then breathe out slowly. Try and have the breath completely out. And whenever you're doing it, please concentrate and it goes to your stomach. <coughs> Do it this 10 times, three times a day, or whenever you have time. Now this will increase your oxygen level if you do not have enough time to exercise, okay? Number two, nutrition. Where do we get nutrition from? Food. But are all foods really good for you? 68% of all illnesses are diet related. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the modern world. This is modern India. The time has come where we already no longer believe that we only get our nutrition from food. That's a pass. You must use supplements. You must. And the best, most complete food in the whole world is bee pollen. Most complete. So, for those of you who lack Nutrition, I would definitely ask you to be on B pollen. Oh, you, you have B pollen yet? No. no. Oh, not yet? No. Oh, never mind. You come. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go and grow your own beehives now, huh? <laughs> Don't compete with us yet. We're coming. <laughs> other than that, we also have all kinds of other things. Our fields of greens. We have our omega-3, we have B12s. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope some leaders here will step up and be experts in B12. Most of the B12 that you buy in town only has about 10 or 20 micrograms of B12. 
for everything, 500 micrograms. And the price is very cheap. <laughs> I have a fantastic training done by a Dr. William. Hopefully, I can have it translated into English, subtitle, and I'll send it over to you. Amazing, lots of products that we have, lots. Royal Gel, Be Propolis, we got many. So please, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you are eating, I sometimes like to ask you, are you really eating things that has nutrition? Believe me, you need to have food supplement today. How come, how come? You know, people our age, like, you know, Mr. Ubi, my you no, know, we are smaller, we are shorter. Where is the young people today? My daughter, my son, his daughter, his, his son. Why are they all taller and bigger bones? Why? I can get you something, because today, most parents now understand food supplement. My son Felix is there. Yeah? You see? Big guy. Come, Felix. Yeah? Why is he so much taller than me? He's much taller than me. Why? And yet, you see, my family, most of us, most of us, are, you see, those of us, you know, who, who are, you know, about one, one decade, or no, not one decade, one or the one generation or two generations back. The time our parents still do not understand a lot of food supplements. So please, okay, you must be on food supplement. And for those of you who are already in the business, how many products do we have now here today in food supplement? B21. B12? No, no, on food supplement, just a tablet. So. Or just B12. Okay, just B12. Don't worry, huh? those things are all coming, okay? Don't worry, those things are coming. Let me ask you. When every time things come in, what is going to happen to your business? Yeah. Yes. So get ready to be rich, huh? Get ready. <laughs> Sometimes when money comes, you know, you may not know what to do, but, but, but never mind, it's alright. Right. Get ready. So, okay, let's talk about nutrition, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to come to another part that sales require is to live in an environment that is non-toxic. Toxic, right? Sorry, it's bad. There's non-toxic. How do you get rid of your toxins in your body? Number one, we breathe. Number two, from our skin, when we sweat, and most of us do not sweat because we don't exercise. When you don't exercise, where will the toxin from your sweat go to? It always go to your liver, okay? It always go to your liver. The next one, of course, is we go to the toilet and we <coughs> urinate. I can give you the best kidney and if you do not drink enough water, it will not work properly. And if you do not get rid of your toxins from your kidney, it goes to your liver again. Liver again. Now the worst, of course, is your large intestine. The average person carries in their body every day 10 pounds of unilimited fishes. In other words, most of us are really full of shit. <laughs> yeah. When John went past away, his large intestine weighed 75 pounds. Fishes that have already become solid and that can come up from the body. When I was doing a training in Hawaii, we saw a photo of a man whose intestine was over 100 pounds. Some of us eat food, and after 30 years, the food is still in our large intestine. The tandoori chicken is still there, guy. Okay? <laughs> but I like this company. This is a place where, where we can even very freely talk about shitting. <laughs> Let me introduce you the magic bottle, the golden bottle. For those of you who have never tried this before, Try it. Buy one bottle home. In the night time, have your dinner. After dinner, drink some water. And when you go to bed, put this bottle in your washroom. I like the 
the food to be digested for the whole night. In the morning when you wake up and you go to the toilet, to the washroom to pee, what I want you to do is to open this bottle up and drink a lot. Now, I know in India sometimes you only drink one cup, right? No. <laughs> I drink a bottle a day, okay? I drink a bottle a day. Take the bottle, open it, and drink half at least. If you can drink a whole bottle, drink a whole bottle. If you cannot, drink half at least. After that, go back to sleep. I promise you, you will not sleep very long. <laughs> very soon, the stomach begins to churn. And you go to the toilet, and all those things come out. And when those things come out, I want you to look at your sheet. And I want you to ask, you, ask yourselves, if those things did not come out, is it good for you? And if you say yes, then don't buy. If you say no, you are going to use this forever. Mm. Be careful, huh? You must have a free day. <laughs> because most of you who have never done this, you are not only going to go for one time. You're going to go again. You go back to sleep. And very soon, again, it's coming. <laughs> then you go again. Then you wash up. You go back again. Again, very soon, it's coming. <laughs> Sometimes, if your body is very unhealthy, you may have to go about three or four times. Now, if you are a vegetarian, and if you eat very healthy, sometimes you can drink a whole bottle and nothing happens because your intestine is very, very clean. You may only fat, nothing else. Yeah? Nothing else. Amazing bottle. So I want vegetarian to know that if you drink half a bottle and nothing happens, I'd like to congratulate you. You are really, really doing well. Okay? You are really, really doing well. Try it. Try it. If your fishes are not got it off, where will it go? The poison. Again, your liver. Now, don't forget your liver has to clean your blood. And when your blood is dirty, oxygen and nutrition cannot go into your blood. And when that happens, you're unhealthy. And when nutrition do not go into your blood, you are always hungry. You are always hungry because your body is saying, eat again, eat again, eat again, eat again. Sometimes people say, Eddie, I'm just shit, I'm okay. I like to try this amazing thing, right? I like to sometimes do my friend, ah, oh, I say, okay, go to the toilet. And after they've come from the toilet, they should be clean, right? I say, okay, drink half a bottle. They drink. And after they drink, two hours later, they still have to go to the toilet. I say, I thought you told me you already shit. Yeah, yeah, because we always carry fishes that we can't eliminate in our body unless you clean it on a regular basis. I drink a lot of this. I'm very, very clean today. Normally, I drink this, ladies and gentlemen, nothing happens. I just fart. Nothing happens. I drink a bottle a day. I don't know, maybe I think living long is important because I have some money. <laughs> Maybe some of you say, oh, die, die, la, never mind, after all, so poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. That was, that, that was an hour and a half ago, okay? That was an hour and a half ago. No, we have seen for everything now, so please, don't worry anymore, please, okay? Don't worry anymore. Just get to work. Just get to work, okay? So I thought a little bit of product, okay? Because this is the most important. There are so many products, we'll go into them again, okay? There are, there are other things with the toothpaste, with with all other things. Okay, I have answered one question. Any more questions? Yes, please. So if you're, uh, I mean, if I'm preoccupied with some other activity, and I would like to get in a big way in this, so what, how would you advise? My advice is, my advice is, you, if you are working today, and you are just starting, you must always do forever living on a part-time basis first. Please, we are here to help you. I know I'm a good speaker. Now many of you told me that. 
Do not listen to me and get excited and then tomorrow you go home and you cook and you fire the boss and you quit the job. No, don't, don't do that, okay? We are here to help you. I want you to do forever living part-time first. What are you part-time? Part-time. I've seen many people who are in the business full-time. And their time, their full-time really is fooling time. <laughs> No. Will I surprise you guys if I tell you that I'm still doing my network part-time? And I've been part-time for 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the managing director for Taiwan. I have to do the work Mr. Ubi is doing. I still have to look after the staff, have staff meeting. I still have to look after the warehouse, the finance department, the computer department. I still have to organize rallies. I still have to organize meetings. I still have to get. I still have to meet distributors and solve their problems. I am busy. I still have to go to work every day, and I do my business part time, 15 years. So don't worry about part time. <laughs> many, many questions because we have not done anything yet. Because we have not taken action yet and as a result, sometimes things are confusing and we think that they are so difficult. One day, one day, a boy came back from school and asked the mother, Mom, where did I come from? The mother said, oh, God, what a question, right? Mother, being a simple housewife, told the son, son, tell you what, when your dad comes home, ask your dad. Your dad is more educated. <laughs> so when the father came home, the son asked the father, you know, small boy, only five years old, says, dad, where did I come from? The father got shocked, but anyway, the father said, okay, son, sit down, let me talk to you. And the father began to talk about the birds and the bees, talk about bee pollen, <laughs> talk about a lot of things, about men and women, how children come about. And when the father was satisfied with what he thinks is a good answer, the father, out of curiosity, asked the son, says, son, why did you ask me this question today? And the five-year-old son said, Oh, because my friend Amajit came from Bombay. <laughs> Allah. Sometimes, you know, we, we think that it's so complicated, it's so, di so difficult, but actually, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of things are very, very simple, okay, are very, very simple. However, however, uh, no matter how simple, how simple it is, uh, I would always advise, I will always advise all distributors who are really, really interested in the business, I want you to be a professional, and if you want to be a professional, please take the trouble to learn. Okay, please take the trouble to learn. I am most willing to teach everybody who is willing to learn. It doesn't matter which line you are in. But I want all uplines to promise me something, please. If whatever I teach is different from yours, please do not get mad at me, please. Because I am doing it sincerely. I'm not trying to be a smart Alex here, no. All down lines, if you are my cross lines, if you want to learn from me, please ask your upline for permission if you can, okay? And of course, I'd like to advise all uplines, if you want to do forever living properly, please do not do forever living by guesswork. I am not interested in what you think is the right answer for forever living. I am not interested in what you think is the right way of doing forever living. I want you to tell me what is the right way, not what you think. I set that standard for myself. And after over 20 years, 6 years in Amway, 15 years, 
in forever living, two years as a consultant, 20 over years in this industry, I can tell you the exact answer for most of the things that you want to ask. And I can tell you that answer is the right answer. I am not guessing. I have got no time to guess. Some people said, oh, you know, there is no right answer in this, in this business. Bullshit. You either do not know the answer or you have not learned enough. That's all. That's all. So if you want to learn, and if you want to learn from me, I will be very honored. I would love to teach you. But please ask your upline for permission, please. Okay? I've seen in, again, I'm giving you the right answer for what is network marketing, okay? I've seen my downlines in Taiwan, and sometimes they try to be too smart, and they go over to many, many places of the world, and they try and teach other cross lines. Which is good. Maybe they do it, you know, with very sincere, with a, uh, with a how do you call it, very sincerely doing it to help other people. But I've seen many uplines when their downlines are being taught. Number one, if the downlines are being taught correctly and they grow big, the people who thought they never get a thank you anyway, or should they say something that is wrong, they get scolded. Or sometimes even the thing is right and because what the other line is doing is different, sometimes they also get complained, which is very, very sad, which is very, very sad. So please, ladies and gentlemen, learn, learn. I'm good. I'm very good. I have wrote four books, actually five, for my training courses. I don't publish them yet. I don't publish them yet. One day I will, but not yet. You know why? Because I want it to be at least 99.9% .9 perfect. spent over 20 years writing my notes. People in network marketing, no matter how big of a leader they are, most of them can't even do five or ten lessons on stage. Don't even know how to do five or ten lessons. I have got 30 to 40 that I wrote myself. I'm good. Okay? It's not a complicated. How much you came from Bombay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We, we are doing business in 94 countries worldwide. Yes. Why is uh, America not listed and not coming in the first 10? What is the reason? Why America is not coming in the first 10? Yes. Well, how, how, how can you really say that America is not in the top 10? Yeah, you have the list not in the top 10 countries. Okay, okay, I, I, I understand. Okay, I understand your question right now. Okay, let me ask. Let me answer that question. When we have our international rally in the in, in America, okay, that is also the annual rally for American the, the, the distributors in America. And because it's our international rally, the company recognizes all the 94 countries that we are in, and they do not include. USA FLP into the 94 countries. That's why we don't list them as part of part of that. No. If you list that, America is not only not in the top ten; it's not even the top last because it's not in the in the list. It's not even in the list. Now, America is doing. I think sometimes in a mentor country, sometimes our sales go stagnant. And uh, there is a way of solving 
that kind of stagnant uh, 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 the, the curve, you know, we can solve it. But uh, America never in the list. Oh, they never put America in the list. America is never in the list. Okay, please. We only recognize all the 90, the other foreign countries, but we don't put America in the list. Okay. <coughs> I hope that answers your question. Okay. <coughs> Any more question? Yes, please, sir. <coughs> oh, man, sorry. Great question, great question, great question. Yes, yes, yes. India is so big. If you want India to be very, very successful, ladies and gentlemen, it is very, very important that all leaders in, in India, no matter what line you are in, to come up with a standard training program. with a standard training program and if every leader do their own thing, distributors are going to be very, very confused. For example, when we show the marketing plan, if you come to Taiwan, you will see that the marketing is always done like this. But I have seen, I have seen One country, one time, where instead of 5%, the leaders use 35, 38, 43, 48. Because they add the 30% retail profit. Can you see what I mean? This is wrong. Don't do that. If the home office says 5%, it's 5% worldwide. If the home office in the first place draw for us 35%, then we use 35%. You must have a standard. You must have a standard. One time, I brought one of my leaders as a guest speaker in Australia. If you see me doing the marketing plan, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see that I will always say, supervisor, 30 cases. And then a system manager, 100. Correct? Yes. One time I brought a leader to Australia as a guest speaker, and this smart guy came up and says, okay, supervisor, we do 25. Then a system manager, 75. When he went back to the room, I gave him a big scolding. I said, you're yeah, wasting my time my money here. I should never have brought you to Australia. I'm very strict my downline, sorry, huh? Why do you think I use 30 and 100? Because 30 is easier to multiply than 25. Does it make sense to you? 100 is easier to multiply than 75. Does it make sense to you? For example, now we go to a country, okay? Let's say we go to Australia. Now, I asked the Australian MD, I said, how much is one case credit in Australian dollar? And the MD in, in Australia says, well, one case, I want you to use 280 Australian dollars. OK? <coughs> All I have to do is to remember 280 multiplied by 30. How much is that? Huh? 74, right? Eight hundred and? One more? Right? You see, all I have to do is to remember 130 multiplied by 280, and the next one is 280 multiplied by 100. You know what I mean? Is it not easy? Now, this joker came up with 280 multiplied by 25, then 280, uh, 280 multiplied by 75. How do you duplicate? <laughs> Correct? So, if you see that wherever I do my business, 
And I'm very lucky today that my business has gone all over the world and has become so big. All my downlines, all my downlines, whether it is in Australia, where I control 99% of the business, Vietnam, 80% of the business, Malaysia, 60 to 70% of the business, Philippines, about one quarter, Taiwan, 100%, Canada, 50%. Every country that I do, my figures set as 30-100. My downlines don't need to change this. It's a standard. It's a standard. Same thing too, when we do our training, there must be a standard. Most leaders in multi-level don't even know what to teach the downlines. I have a leader in Taiwan. She came and see me one day and said, Eddie, my downline gave a very good training. My downline gave a very good speech. And I asked her, I said, Jennifer, how do you know that your downline gave a very good speech and training? Oh, she spoke very well. I said, Jennifer, she can speak very well. But if her training is not suitable to the audience, it is a lousy training. If you are going to give a very, very good training, but the training is so elementary to a group of diamonds, that is a lousy training. If you are going to give a very, very good training that is very, very advanced to a group of assistant supervisors, that is a lousy training too. You know what I mean? You'll be surprised. Most leaders don't even know what training to give people when they are just from beginning to manager. They even know. They, they don't even know what are the lessons they require. Then when they go to second level, when they become senior, they can become sorry. They don't even know what lessons to train. Then when they become, you know, sapphire, they don't even know what to train. No, you train. <laughs> You train people when they are starting different. When they become hyping people, you train them again different. For example, a sapphire. I have to train them about media. Maybe, you know what I mean? Because they have become famous, they may go on television. Newspaper reporters may come and interview them. Now, they, when they can get interviewed, they represent for everything. So I have to teach them media. When you are being interviewed by a by a television guy, right? You must know where to look. Don't look at the guy who is asking you a question. Look at the camera, because you are talking to the, the audience. I have to train them how to organize annual rally for their group. For organizing rally, I have to teach them what music they have to play, how to choose the master ceremony, the decoration of the place, the rental they have to do after, how much to sell the tickets, everything I have to teach. You must know all those. Or oh, a leader now become very big and successful. I have to teach them if he wants to set a center, what are the things that they have to know. You cannot just say, I want to set a center. Hey, if you set a center, how many leaders do you have? For a center to do well, you must have at least five to seven good speakers. Just, just because you are a good speaker, you set up a center. Now the center is going to collapse. How many square feet? Air conditioning, how to put. What's about the projector? Do you need one? TV, microphone. How much can you collect from the leaders to pay for the rental? Do you need a secretary? All those have to be taught. And when a leader becomes a sapphire and the downlines want to go overseas to do international sponsoring, we have to teach them again. When you go international sponsoring, how to calculate the cost? What do you have to do? Everything has to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, I have all those. You want to learn? Just say, yes, I will teach you. It's free. It's free. Don't guess, please. <laughs> Be responsible, because when you guess and you give the wrong answer to your downlines, it gets out of control, and when India is so big, whatever you teach is wrong, ladies and gentlemen, will spread like wildfires, and you can never put it out. Okay? Sorry, I'm being tough on you, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Yes, sir? Uh, Mercedes also cannot be made for all the poor people in India. 
I'm sorry, we cannot, uh, we cannot do that. We are not trying to be overpriced to sell something, no. Whenever we do a business, ladies and gentlemen, it is not the cost of any product, but value for money. But value for money. Ladies and gentlemen, for us to produce a bottle of aloe vera gel, the aloe plant has to be grown over three years. Three years. And after three years, we need four leaves to make one bottle. Four. During those times, we have to do weeding. We have to look after the plants. It's a long time. Then after that, when we harvest, within a short hour or so, the leaves have to go to cleaning right away. We put into big basins in water like swimming pool and we wash the leaves. And after that, the leaves goes over to a belt that goes to the machine. Then it comes to another tank where the leaves have to be individually clean, wash. Then they have to cut the end part, the tail part. Then it's put into another belt. And this belt then leads to our special patented machine where we press the gel out. And after pressing the gel out, the gel goes to a container. And we get girls with spoons looking into the thing all the time to take away small, small, you know, bits and pieces of the leaves. It has to be done by hand. Done by hand. And after that, the thing is pumped into a huge container where we stabilize the thing. We let the thing sit. We let the thing sit. And after that, we only take the top 5 or 10 percent to make cosmetic. And the rest is made into aloe vera gel and our juices. Let me tell you about another company. Remember, I'm not trying to put other people down, okay? Today, not only am I doing a, train, a, 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 a presentation for new people, I'm also trying to do a little bit of training for older people because, you know, you guys don't see me very often. Ladies and gentlemen, in Taiwan, we sell this for about $900. $20. New Skin, another company, came up with another bottle of aloe vera juice, green in color, and they sell it for $1,220. About $300 over dollars more expensive than we are. 30, 30 over percent more expensive than we are. So when it came in, I asked my staff to go over and buy a few bottles. And like usual, I get my, my distributors in and I let them drink a little bit. You know? And I also keep a bottle in the room where I get my managers in. This is say, my wife, my two assistant general managers, and another business manager. So they all took this small cup and tried it. It tastes like Gatorade, like sports drink. And there was, you know, more than three quarters of a bottle left. It was about six o'clock in the evening. I took the whole bottle made by by, by new skin, and I drank the whole bottle. I drank the whole bottle. Nothing happens. I went home. 11 o'clock, I phoned my assistant general manager, Francis. I said, Francis, I didn't even fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't worry about the price of products, ladies and gentlemen, it's always value for money. You can easily buy, you can easily buy a uh, local car, uh, uh, a local Indian made car for about uh, five legs. Yep. Five legs, right? Or you can buy a Hyundai for how much? Seven to eight legs, okay? Or you can buy my Ferrari for 1.4 crores. You can buy a whole house. It's really for money. Why do, do you buy it? It's a Ferrari, right? 
So don't worry, it's value for money. Value for money. Yes, sir. Oh, your Chinese is not very good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It says the Indian bottle doesn't contain fiber. So what is the use of fiber? That's what you do. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Your you answer, okay, your answer. Okay, answer, answer, answer. answer. Right. Mr. Manubai, yeah. there are many companies which have similar looking products but no fibers, I said. The potency is very low compared to forever livings. As is stabilized gel. There are many companies which say it's stabilized. I ask them, show me the seal. They show me a manufacturing license number. That is not a seal. If you want to manufacture something, you go to the government, get a number. That is not a seal. Compare the both. Ours is the best. Thank you. Now, uh, 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 let, let me ask let, let me Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me add a little bit about uh, 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 aloe vera products made by other companies. Now, uh, when we were still very small, okay, when we were still very small and there were not that many MDs at that time, uh, our owner, Rexmon, used to make us MDs as the guinea pig, okay? <laughs> so every year we have our MD meeting, right? He will always come up with all kinds of aloe vera, right? Like, oh, I got good news for you. You know, I got aloe vera from X, X company and aloe vera from Y company. So for the first, uh, for the first, uh, oh, many, many years, I drank all kinds of aloe vera from other companies. Some of them taste like vinegar. Some of them taste like sports drink. Some of them I taste like I don't know what. Uh, I have taste aloe vera that, is, that comes in huge bottles. I've also seen aloe vera that comes in small bottles where you can add five gallon water, concentrated. <laughs> So I've seen all kinds of aloe vera, so don't be surprised, there's all kinds. But never mind, those belong to other people. But I'd like to tell you about forever living products, our aloe our, our vera. Sometimes you will find that the gel inside is very thick. And sometimes you find that the gel is not as thick. The reason is very simple. We put all this gel into a huge tank and we let it sit. So we only take the, five, the first 5% or 10% to make our cosmetic. And we then use this to make our aloe vera gel. Sometimes, sometimes the bottle is made maybe because you know, the fiber is, is settling. So if we, make, if we get a batch from here, sometimes it is not as thick. Sometimes when you get a batch that is here, when it comes out, it's really, really thick, okay? Looks like ketchup afterwards. Yeah, it's very thick. So don't worry, it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, I got a, I got an interview uh, 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 that Rex did uh, just recently, and uh, he said something that is very very interesting. The person was asking about uh, how stabilized is our aloe vera. Rex in the interview says he still have bottles of aloe vera made 25 years ago, and up to today we still have 99% stability after 25 years. my thing here. Oh, yes, please. Yes. What is the best measure that you should give a newcomer? Because here, everybody says a different measure. So what is the best way that they should have? If you ask me? One bottle a day. I would say drink at least half a bottle a day. I would say minimum a half a bottle a day. If you drink a little bit and then nothing happens, you know, it's no use. What I want is, I want you to drink until you go and shit. That's all. Okay? Yeah, you must drink until you run to the washroom. Let me tell you about let me tell you about this, this this crazy bottle. Rex invited me to to America for the first time, so I got in. The time I was I was very poor. Actually, when I went to America, I had to borrow fifty thousand uh, NT dollars from my mother-in-law. You know, I I was broke and no money, so I broke fifty thousand. So when I went to America, I was very, very careful with, with my money. So when I checked in the room, the company gave me a bag with aloe vera gel and, and other products plus you know, something. I was very thirsty, but because I was poor, I don't dare to drink the, 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 the drinks from the refrigerator in the hotel room because it's very expensive, right? So I said, hey, this, this drink. So I opened it up, 
and I drink it. I taste terrible the first time. I think most of you know that. But I was very thirsty. So I drank. After drinking, you know, I got ready, you know, I, uh, to want to go and make racks. But suddenly the stomach began to churn. So I go to the washroom. After that, I took my shower. Come again, so I go to the washroom again. Then I come out, I was getting ready to dress. My goodness, it's coming again, so I went to the washroom. I nearly couldn't make racks that day. <laughs> Boy, try this, try this. Hey, isn't it fun to be in a company where we can talk about shit? Huh? Hey, this is not common, guys. This is interesting. And we can talk about it so freely and, you know, at the same time, our people, our customers know that this is so important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember, toxins from the large intestine is very, very poisonous. You can pour it on a plant and you will die. Yeah. You don't believe? Pour it on a plant, you die. <laughs> and you want to keep it in your body? No, don't do that. Anyway, I'd like to end here. Uh, I'd like to, again, part of training. What I'm doing now is not duplicable, okay? What I'm doing now is not duplicable. If you are new in the, in the business, in the, new in the industry, don't open to the floor for so many people. It's dangerous unless you are as good as I am, okay? Don't even try. I'm not trying to teach you that. Don't try, okay? Don't try. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.